It was good. Um, always a good feeling to finish the race and a better feeling to come in first. So yeah. very excited for that. Is this, how long have you been doing prep? Um, this is probably my sixth or seventh year. And this is my first win. I've been second place a number of times. So it's felt good. What challenges does the course face for cycling like you have here with the hand cycle? Um, they had a couple speed bumps that are in the crossing the whole road and I wasn't aware of that. I hit that at like 25 miles an hour and it launched in the air. So that was an eye opener for the first one knowing that the next ones I needed to slow down and go around them um, off to the side. Other than that, it's a, it's a fast course. The Bradley Hills are a challenge, but once you get through those, um, it's, it's a fast course. How long have you been hand cycling? Um, I have been hand cycling for 20 years, but not all of it was racing. I've been racing for probably the last seven years competitively. And then what kind of preparation goes into this year? So I, I travel around the United States racing. So I train every day, um, usually an hour and a half, Monday through Friday, and three hours on Saturday. I was actually out in uh, Steamboat, Colorado last weekend doing my first gravel hand cycle race. Um, so that was very intense out there and the elevation, the altitude and everything. So that was a challenge. The bricks here are kind of iconic on Saginaw Street. Can you talk about riding on these and the difference? We just had new ones installed right before the finish line, actually. It was definitely smoother than years past. Um, but for us, the cobblestones create a lot of bumps, so it, it's a it's a rough ride for us on the finish line, and it is kind of a downhill finish. So I think I was at 25 or 26 miles an hour coming down, so it was uh, it was chattery. Do you know about what you peaked at as far as top speed where you were at? So my max speed, according to my computer, was 32.8 miles an hour, and on this course I averaged 19 miles an hour for the 10 miles.